Hey, Denise Johnson coming to you from my outer space studio. We're going to make some journals today. Took a trip to the Dollar Tree store in town and like what I found. So let's get started. Like I said, these are from the Dollar, Dollar Tree store. This one has a kind of a flexible cover on them. I usually like them uh, stiff covered, hard covered. These are really cool. I love the find here. These feel like suede. Of course they're not. And they're, um, you know, rigid, which is nice. I like that. And they have the sticker on the back and it says that it's an easy peel label. Okay. <laughs> Uh, before I started recording, I took one off, and it was not an easy peel label. It took several minutes to clean it off, and this one doesn't look like it is either. So, yeah, that's going to take some time, but they do come off. Actually, it was this. No, it wasn't that one. It was one of these, this one, the black one. I took it off. It took some time, but that's okay. I can cover it up. I'm even thinking of just leaving it because I don't enjoy trying to pull them off and just uh, going over it with whatever. We'll see. I don't know. So what I was thinking for these journals today, I have a couple of ideas, as I usually do. Uh, I have prints. This is a card that I printed out of my uh, artwork. Uh, this is one I did quite a while ago. And on the back, I have uh, messages. I like this one. Um, but I'm going to repurpose them. I, I'm going to cut them up, and I'm going to put this as the cover, and I'm going to put this as the back. So all I need is a pair of scissors. Actually, hang on, I'm going to get my cutter thing. This is a cricket. I like this. I've had this for a very long time. So I'm just going to stick this in there. Kind of line it up as best I can with the crease. I could do two at a time. There. So I'll set that aside. So now I've got two pieces. I also have this. This is just, um, alcohol ink on a four by six piece of photo paper. I will do something with that in one of these journals. But for now, let's. I'm going to try to stay in my, stay in my lane because I <laughs> I veer off the path quite a bit, but that's okay. So that see, we'll just cover that right up like that. The blue's nice. How about the black. Oh, I like the black better. And we have pink, which I don't hold out a lot of hope for on this one. No, not the pink. And I could do it on this more flexible one. My concern with the flexible ones is when the, you know, the person starts bending it, how well it's going to hang on. Um, we'll see. I think I'm going to do it on this black one, though. This one I like the best. Set these aside. I'm also going to put some of my Molten Magic on it, and that is hot glue with uh, gilding wax. Uh, King's Gold by Pabibo, this brand, but here I go getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's get this down first. I am going to use hot glue on this one because I think there's enough tooth here on this suede that hot glue will adhere to it really well. Now, if it were a real slick plastic, um, I don't know if I would use hot glue. I would probably then use uh, like a gel medium on that, but for today, or for right now at least, um, I'm just gonna try some hot glue. Well, look at this messy glue gun, holy moly. <laughs> this has been a workhorse. I have gone through probably over 150 of these little mini sticks on all of the crazy things I've been playing with the molten magic and that's just the mini sticks and then I have these big honkers these are 10 inches long and they're for the, the bigger glue gun 
and I'm on my second box and I'm about halfway through of the 170. So I've been molten magicking it up. I just love it. It's so much fun. Okay, let's get the some hot glue on here and see what we can do. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to move quick here because I don't want oh crap. Oh well. Oh well, there we go. I guess we're going. Okay. The he who hesitates, right? I was gonna explain a little bit before I took off, but no time to talk. Okay, okay, okay. Hope I can get it on here without third degree burns. And if it's not perfect, it's not perfect. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Oh, I should use my oh, silicone mat. I'm always very prepared. <laughs> Just wanna push it down nice and hard there. And this is just, like I said, silicone mat, so nothing's gonna stick to it. Awesome. Oh, that's nice. It's crooked. I'll tell you what, by the time I'm done, you won't even notice. This one, I'm gonna put on the back, but I'm gonna wait a bit, because I'm gonna wait a bit. I like how that looks. So I'm gonna put some Molten Magic a.k.a. hot glue. Um, I'm going to go right over the top of this and just follow the lines that are there. I'm thinking I'm going to go like that. That's what I'm thinking. Who knows what the glue will decide to do. Yeah, I'm just kind of following the line. I'll go right off of it. And we'll do some back and forth. And go back here, right off. This one's going to cool off, so I'll do another one. This one, I'm going to use one of my, uh, for my molds, and you can find that supply list with that link in it, in the supplies um, document that you can download. I'll also... Um, attach that supply list here. I'm kind of making just a general one for doing the Molten Magic rather than um, project, you know, tutorial specific because it's pretty much the same, you know, ingredients. You don't want to get it on the back, uh, the wax, the gold wax, because the hot glue doesn't like to stick to it. FYI, found that out. Nice. Maybe a bigger one. Oh, the bee. I like the bee. Oops. Let's put the bee up there. Mm -hmm. Okay. First, I'm going to give it some gold. Oh, I didn't want to do it on this. I shouldn't have done it on the silicone. I meant to do it on the paper. This is the newsprint that I'm using to get from our local newspaper, the end rolls, and I love it as a thing to put under me because it, it, it you know, it absorbs the inks and stuff, and then I end up having some uh, collage paper or whatever. Okay, that's good. So let's get back to 
here. I'm going to give it a dab of hot glue. Just be careful with this stuff because you can definitely burn yourself. I've done it many, many times. And my brother passed along a good piece of advice because your first instinct when it starts, when it, you get it on you and it starts burning is to wipe it off, but it's all that does is spread the heat. <laughs> and he told me that and it wasn't two days later I did it, burned myself, rubbed it, and then thought of him and just started laughing. Like, oh, Damon, you're right. So I want to put some, oh, okay, you wanted to go there? That's fine. Flowers. And I just love the hot glue because it does its thing. It does its own thing and it's it's good. Some dots. I like dots. They look like water droplets. They're so cool. Another tip is uh, it looks like it's you know it's very clear when it when it comes out of the glue gun, but it turns a little cloudy. And you know, what I found is if I use my heat gun, I can uh, make them clearer. They end up like clearing up when you hit them with the heat. Of course, be careful what you're heating up. Some papers don't like to be heated up, so be aware of that. So, what did I use it on? Um, I don't remember right now. Oh, I know my silicone, the silicone, silicone mat. I put it down just to kind of run an experiment to see if it actually would get clearer. Because uh, I watched a video the other day on YouTube, and that's how they were making them clear. Whatever the, that was, I don't know. This is nice. I like this. Okay, so. Okay, so and I like to have a couple going at the same time, three, four, whatever, as many as you want. Because now I can come back to this one and, and it's cooled off. So I'm going to hit it with the gold. I'm not fussy about uh, hitting the, you know, the background here and not staying right on the glue. You don't have to if you don't want to. I just find it gets to be very tedious very quickly. So I just kind of with a dry brush, you know, when you get to that point, you don't have a lot on there, then go over your thinner lines. And not so much then gets on your background. How cool is that? Okay, so I got a lot of stringy things still, but I'll show you how to get rid of those too. Reload. higher you hold the gun, the thinner the stream and the cool effects you get. Sometimes, not always, but take what you're given and work with it. That's nice. Okay, let that cool off and come back with more gold. This one's ready to be gold. Gild it up. So I'm going to the spots that have the most glue down first to catch a lot of it that's on the brush. Then you have a little more control of where it's going. It hits the 
doesn't get quite so much on the background. It just takes practice too. And it, like I said, don't sweat it. There, I got some on the cover. How cute. I'm going to call this one done. Sure I am. <laughs> That's on there real well. Okay, it's got a loose leg there. I'm going to give him a shot of glue. That one too, just in case. I'll keep it... Give a little bit more, it'll make it more solid, or you'll melt it right off like I just did. <laughs> oh well, that's on there nice. And then I'm gonna take my heat gun and get rid of all the little stringy things. They will either melt and blow away or they just kind of melt and stay there. I just know they're gone. Just wanna tack them down with the heat. Always sign your work. It has value. I don't know how this will. How's this going to work on this? Oh, nice. Suede stuff. I know it's not suede, but then what I like to do in my journals is I've got a whole bunch of these stencils. I think I bought them on Amazon and got a bazillion of them for not a whole lot of money. I didn't need a bazillion of them, but I thought I did at the time. So I'm gonna use this one. This one's real pretty. This is alcohol ink diluted in 91% uh, minimum alcohol. This is what I use in all of my videos if I'm using these spray bottles. I don't expect to get a perfect stencil out of this, and that's not my intention. Go give it a little squirty squirt. And I'll just make it look very unplanned. That's how I like to roll, unplanned. Just see what happens. And then I will give, uh, I usually write something in all of them. Some, some happy stuff. Let's see how, let's see. This is one of my favorites. Wake up happy, stay that way. Look, smiley face. And a heart. So the back side. Now the back side is smoother. It's got this crazy label, but that label's not going anywhere. But I'm gonna uh, give it a shot with the uh, glue, glue gun rather than my gel medium. Let's see see how this goes. Uh, let's see, just practice run here. Where should I go? I should go just to the bottom of that and I'll put something up there to make it look like it was a plan. Okay, I got enough glue in here, go. Yeah, I can't dilly-dally at this one, I don't believe. Good. Looks pretty good. And I didn't get burnt. <laughs> Success. I can see a little bit of the bumpy glue under there. And that's not going to bother me, no. There's some glue there, but that's okay too because I got plans. I got me some plans. So, 
What color is this? This is gold and blue. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of this again. Alcohol ink in uh, alcohol, 91%. I believe this is Fiesta from Ranger. Just go for it. And then flip it over because you got ink there. Share the wealth. I always say share the wealth. This is just very loose. I'm not trying to be perfect here. With alcohol inks, um, try not to control it too much. Molten Magic. I like the dots. We'll do some, we'll do a really big one. We'll do some, let's see if I can do some swirls here. Spirals. Magic. I'll do a couple here. Just random wherever I feel like it. Maybe a line. You get as crazy as you want. Right? Who says I have to do it this way or that way? I'm going to do it my way. There. One more there. Okay, set that aside, let it cool off. Bring back this one. I should change this paper. It's, <laughs> it's been so drenched. Oh, okay, time to add some gold, some magic. Interesting. I feel like I got quite a bit of gold there. That's good. I like that there. So, give up the control of trying to hit every little line <clears throat> perfectly and just go for it. like the way it looks on the suede. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna hit it with this heat gun. Got the little string things. Nobody's moving. Oh, a little bit of movement there. The suede doesn't seem to be burning. That's a good thing. This does actually remelt this glue. My heat gun does anyway. So be careful with it when you, you know, uh, just be aware it's hot. And if you touch it, you can start pulling the glue again, and it's painful. I'm not so sure I would have done that again or do that again. It's okay, though. All right, what are we going to put in here? Let's do a different pen. Oh, let's do a marker this time.
of a different stencil. Let's see this one. I'm going to do it in that direction. Just lightly here. You'll be able to read it. That's nice. Sign it. Oh, this one's already signed. Cool. Oh, one last thing. I have a stamp. It has my logo, my website name on it. I had this made, I don't know, I think I went to eBay and had it made. Found somebody there. Did a good job. So I'm going to put this in the back, on the back page. Okay. Sometimes you can't read it real well, so just go back in and... And give it a heart. Back side. Let's finish the back here. And what did I do with the front? Oh, okay. Um, let's see what to do with the back. It's black, so I'm kind of drawing a blank. Put uh, <laughs> I'm just going to put a big uh, spiral. Well, apparently I'm doing a little more than a spiral. <laughs> it's so much fun. Like I said, the higher you hold the gun, the crazier it gets. All right, go let that dry off. Dry off, cool down. I always say dry, it's just habit, I guess. Okay, as long as I got my stamp out, I'm gonna do this one too. Boy, that one's a fail, huh? Well, not really. I can fix that. Dot com. No worries. I don't get stressed when I do art. If I did get stressed, I'd have to ask myself, what's the point? Okay, there you go. Oh, you know what I would like to do back here, though? Share the ink love. All right. This one. Why is that sticking? Oh, yes, photo paper. This is the right side of photo paper, you know, because I printed this out, is very, like, it doesn't feel sticky, but it sticks to silicone, and it can be a problem at times. <laughs> if you do it inadvertently and it gets stuck there, sometimes I've messed up um, photos by doing that. Things I printed out. Okay, get back on track here. Let's put some gold on this one. It's cooled off. You see, I'm not worried about getting it on the blue. I think it looks nice on the blue. I mean, there are times when I don't want it to, so I will, you know, take steps to keep that at a minimum. It's almost impossible not to hit them. You could put it on with your finger. I mean, when I first started this, this technique, I was doing it with using my fingers and being very precise. And that got old quickly. I'm not do I don't do things real precisely. So this looks really nice on this blue. 
there. So that's the back side. And this waxy stuff dries and it's all good. I think I'm done. Yep, that's all done. Nope, got stringy things here. Where did they come from? I thought I did this. Let's see. Oh, look at that one. Go. <laughs> okay, that's good. Don't want to cook it. Okay. And these retail for anywhere between, I don't know, 20, 25, 30 bucks. Um, so, yeah, they're a money maker. And they're fun. They're just do it. You know, for yourself. Okay, here we go. Let's finish this one up. Let's see where I'm at. I did that. I did that. I did that. I didn't do this. Gives me an excuse to play with my, <laughs> my stencils. Stencils are fun. Be sure you have proper ventilation when you do this. Okay, make sure you got uh, window open, fan going. Wear a mask, well, actually not a mask, a respirator if you're gonna put something on your face. see the intricacy of those little dribbles it's like thread it's as fine as fine thread it just amazes me there Go around the outside of it give it a frame cool Lots of, lots of little screens on this one. And you can use your imagination with these journals mixed media, you know, your collage papers. Um, they make great gifts. They do well at gift shops. The uh, profit margin is really good. And they're fun to make. I spiral around. I make them for a while. I'll, I'll just do a big spurt of a dozen of them and then I'm tired of it. So... Right now I'm doing a big spurt of them because it is, today is uh, Black Friday. So Christmas is coming. So I'm putting these in the gift shops that I'm in and a gallery and working on that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Wait a minute, where's the other one? Okay, senior moment, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> this is the first one. Oh, that's loose. That's okay. Just pull it off. If it wants to come off, pull it off. And then hit it again with the heat. This one, I don't like these little ones here. On this weighty stuff. Now, the other notebooks that you can find at Dollar General, you know, they're a buck and a quarter. And they have a hard cover. And the inks move very well on them. It's surprising how much uh, fun they were to make. I did a whole bunch of them weeks ago so there the greatness isn't what you have it is in what you give so true so there you have it two journals that didn't take long and I had fun and I hope you had fun watching so Denise Johnson signing off from my outer space studio have a beautiful day